So if we come on over here, you're like, hey, no big deal. And then you're like, hey, that's kind of a big deal. Um, yeah. So that's an issue. <laughs> What's up, Library Nation? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's not morning time, it's 4.30 in the afternoon, but I just woke up from a nap because I'm exhausted and I'm tired. And because this truck just actually rides nice with the trailer. <laughs> Guys, we're and back the in road, child right support. And we have, Carolyn, like, there you go, you can see it. Yeah, we've got the trailer with uh, the Gladiator and the Jeep attached. And we just spent the last, what, week, yeah, week, week and a half almost? In Salt Lake City. In Salt Lake City, beautiful Utah, which, as we all know, we're in love with. But the show must go on. So we are now on our way to phase 2.97.2. Point something before phase 3 after something after Something phase after phase 2.5 and something before phase 3. But we're heading to Oregon for phase whatever point this is. And after that, we'll be heading to Seattle, Washington for phase 3. But before any of that... We had to make a quick pit stop because on the way to Oregon east on North Curtis Road towards Stockton Street is Boise, Idaho. And we know people in Boise, Idaho. And we wanted to come say bye because it's one of my favorite people ever. Yeah, I've never, I mean, I don't think I've ever been to Boise, Idaho, but... That's also true. I don't think here, either one of us has ever been here before. But here we are. But here we are. So we've encountered the issue we knew that we would have. Yeah, I mean, we got a truck. Trailing a 37-foot trailer with two rigs on top of it. And that's where we can't find anywhere to friggin' park. Is that right? I know. <laughs> Where do you park this thing? You didn't. So, Jelly, you're in my shop. Come here. Uh, so, you, got a, you got a land yacht here. Yeah. So you didn't know that we were trailering everything. No, I didn't know. I thought you were driving like uh, at least one of them. Maybe two. Maybe you're supposed to be. Aren't you supposed to be trailing at, the step child look at, look at with this. the foster child? Look at this ridiculous. Look at that. Look at how it's dumb so this good. is. You need like an 18 wheeler. <laughs> yeah. We basically like, like, are. Like, that's really. Right? <laughs> so we are. Um, we're gonna find a place to park. All right. By the way, for those of you who don't know, this is Justin. Hi. And he's one of our bestest friends ever from Factor 55. It's got a little heart, and it's beating. Oh, it's beating. Yeah. For all of you. <laughs> we might be breaking a law right now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just ignore that yeah. sign. Just ignore that sign. So, guys, when you see this in person, it's much larger in person than in photos. That's what she said. Welcome. Come into Welcome. the den. Look at this. I've never been here before. Oh wait, we didn't even show them that we added. What did we add to our winch? Oh, you're gonna make me go back outside. It's cold. You're gonna have to go outside and show them what we did. We added the winch, <laughs> but we didn't show them what we added the <laughs> which you stole from North. Uh, yeah, right. We didn't all right, hold here. on. Just... Let me go back outside. So we didn't show this because we ran out of time, and it was kind of last minute. But it is very, very important. We added something to the foster child build. So this is a Factor 55 aluminum fair lead with a Factor 55 flat link. And we included the rope guard as well. So if you smash rocks up against the flat link here, you're not gonna fray away or tear away the actual rope for your winch. But yeah, guys, look at that. We got the rad setup right there for all of you. And we did it in all gray, so it matched the livery on the gladiator. looks good my hair looks not quite as good but it's close how's your beard look? my beard looks <laughs> my beard might look better than your beard. <laughs> okay you guys so if i'm being totally honest i didn't just come here to see justin as okay. amazing as he is we did come here for a very specific reason and it does involve the foster child because other than putting the flat link as well as the fair lead as well as the rope guard on the gladiator we can't send you guys out with no recovery gear wouldn't be possible. It wouldn't be possible, right? It just that would just be that would be irresponsible of us. I gotta give you guys something 
to get yourselves out of sticky situations. So, Justin, tell me what we're doing. So, what we are going to contribute to the foster child is going to be our medium-sized recovery kit, um, which we call the Sawtooth. So, as many of you may have seen through uh, our SEMA release, we actually just released the first ever all USA made, every component made in America, recovery kits. We have a small, medium, and large version. This is the medium. Um, we named them after the mountain ranges here in Idaho. So, oh, that's cool, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, so the small kits, the Owyhees, um, that's where most of our wheeling, our trails are. The Sawtooths are up near Stanley, and Bora, the large kit, is the tallest mountain in Idaho. So, kind of a cool little backstory about our little Idaho company. This is one of the products that we won a new product award with at SEMA as well this last year. Those of you who've seen it on E3, it's been on E3, uh, but it's been the most popular kit um, so far out of the three, and it's going to be coming with the foster child. So, for those of you who are E3 members, some of you've actually probably got a great deal on these. We made stellar deal. It was, it was, it was more deal. than great. It was a pretty freaking yeah, rad yeah. deal. It's probably one of the best deals yeah, we've had so, so far good. for all of our E3 members. We may bring it back because I know we've got a lot of new members, but we'll see. I just kind of threw that on them, but we'll see. Okay. Well, okay. So, what's in it? What's in it? So this, the bag itself is made out of a paraffin wax canvas. Um, so it's super heavy duty, especially for a lot of people out there that are uh, veterans. Military, you're gonna be really familiar with that type of material. Um, it's hand stitched in Colorado. And the straps go all the way around the entire bag. Um, so they're stitched all the way through. So the cool thing is you don't have to worry about dealing with the weight. Um, one of the other big key features of this bag is that it only weighs like 25 pounds, 24 to 25 pounds. So once you see everything that's in here for the weight, I mean, it's pretty amazing. So my favorite part about the bag, <laughs> the favorite part about I like the bag, this part. right, is that it completely unzips. So once you unzip the sides, the whole bag completely folds open. You've got uh, the shorty strap too, great rigging short strap. You have your eight foot tree saver, um, which both are gonna be, uh, this could also be used as a bridle um, for a lot of other things. You've got a 30 foot uh, toe strap. So you get the 30 foot toe strap in here. And then you can see stored in the pockets, pockets. you got the pockets in here too. So what's gonna be in the pockets is you'll find you'll have the fast fit so you get the rope splicing tool like all built right in here which we've demonstrated that yep. before you also get a hitch link so you get our uh, 2.0 uh, hitch link this will fit a two inch receiver so most standard trucks suvs jeeps um, all have a 2.0 receiver you get that in the kit there and we've actually used that before in a recovery like that actually does come in handy oh big time so you get two usa made crosby shackles so you get perfect place to put both of those. And then on the big pockets on the other side, you have your rope retention pulley. Da -da. So you have the brand new pulley, right? Can you can we demonstrate how that works? Absolutely. In a minute? Okay, cool. And then in the other pocket over here, you get two soft shackles. So you have both the 10 inch extreme duty soft shackle, and then you also have the 10 inch standard duty. So the pulley basically replaces your traditional snatch block. And the cool thing with this is that this is the very first one that's ever been specifically designed for off-road use. Not only is it billet machined out of 6000 series uh, Kaiser USA made billet, but then it's mil spec type three hard anodized. Now one of the biggest features of this, we're able to patent this feature that retains the rope inside of the pulley. So there are a lot of different types of friction rings or types of rings that are on the market. But the problem is, is that once you interface that with your soft shackle, right? So yep. this is now gonna change from using this, the swing plate style snatch block. Once you put the rope in there, if you're dealing with like when we're winching, you deal yep. with slack and tension and slack and tension. tension. Yep. And if that went to slack, the rope could fall out and then start rubbing on the soft shackle, which then could lead to the rope failing. Yes. Right. So the patented feature was to keep the rope retained in there. So it's real simple, right? Got a little piece of winch rope here to show you. So the rope just goes right in between there. You hold it onto the pulley right through here. And then it will simply, as soon as this is under load and tension and has some tension going through there, it just rotates and spins freely right around the soft shackle. Yep. But the advantage is when it goes to slack, the rope can't fall out. The other cool thing about this too is that the raised inner radius, if you see here really mm -hmm. tight, yeah. so the raised inner radius will always kind of find its center. And it's also been treated with Teflon, so that way it's gonna help dissipate the heat and the friction and allow this thing to smoothly rotate off the self-lubricating fibers of the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. You are using so many big words right now. Sasha, this Look, is this is why I'm, I'm so letting smart. him doing this. I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm so smart. Oh, and then last but not least. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. The kits will also come with the basic guide to winching, oh, I love this which thing. is also uh, by Bob. Wall it was co-authored by us and Bob Wallers, the Off-Road yep. Safety Academy. And for those of you that have been on E3 or E3 members, yep. you can see a lot of 
brilliant content um, that we did with Bob. Yeah. All, all based off of this Super, manual. super cool thing right here. Yeah, so this is uh, so this is the foster child bag. Yeah. That's the foster child bag, yeah, right there. Dude, that is for one of you. I mean, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Dude. I didn't realize what are having, you doing right, right now? The, I'm saying this to Justin. What do you mean? <laughs> I was really Very distracted cool. by the lotion thing, Kevin. It was awesome. It smell, it's fragrance free, but it smells so good. I was gonna say it smells fresh. I know. It helps heal your tattoo. This no. video is sponsored by Luberderm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> you need to rub that in there. It puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> Put the lotion in the basket. So here's the tale of two people, husband and wife, who thought it would be a great idea to trailer two Jeeps on a giant trailer around the country. How's it going for us so far, Kev? Uh, you know, I mean, you're gonna have issues. What? No matter what, you're We're having an issue. What? What issue could we possibly be having? Why are you unstrapping the stepchild from the trailer? Well, if you'll notice, I did not run out of fuel this time. We did not. We are at a gas station. We did not run out of fuel this time. See, we're learning a little bit. So we're not out of fuel, which is good. Second thing that's that's amazing is that it's sunny. It's not exactly warm, but it's not cold. It's not cold, it's fine. Right? Actually. We're not in a blizzard, we're not in a snowstorm, we're not messing with this Why? on Why ice. Why is any of this relevant, Kevin? What's wrong? Wait, sh let me, no, don't even tell them. I'm just gonna show them what's wrong. I'm gonna show them what happened. So if we come on over here, you're like, hey, no big deal. And then you're like, hey, that's kind of a big deal. Um, yeah. So, that's an issue. <laughs> So we're coming down through the passes. Where are we? We're in Idaho still. So are we in Oregon yet? Hold on. Before, Hold on. Before we Hold even, on. Before we get to that, we got eight Milestar is waiting for us at our next destination for the trailer because Milestar makes brand new trailer tires. Right, we have brand new tires for for the Ram. We've got brand new trailer tires, and now these tires look great. They look absolutely fantastic. But the the date of manufacture on them is from 2012, which is when this trailer was made. So these tires are from 2012. Even though they look brand new, you don't run on tires that are that old. So we ordered new for tires. For this kind of specific reason. Yeah, uh, and the, yeah, the ones that are on there didn't quite last long enough for us to make it to the new tires. Luckily, we do have a spare. Anyways, this is now our life. The life of that. <laughs> So I have to go buy an inch and eighth socket, but luckily this place is letting us borrow one. This and I bought this, I bought this Earthquake XT specifically for these big ass nuts on this trailer in case this ever happened. Those are some big and nuts. I want to see if. Uh, Hell yeah! Aren't you happy you bought that? You know what's funny? What? Is that's the first time that nut has ever been off this trailer. You can there tell? are no tool marks on any. This is the first time. So this, this thing got assembled and that was it back in 2012. Good news is we borrowed a socket. We have an impact to take it all off. We've got an ARB jack that will hopefully work. We're hoping that'll work after we take the stepchild off the trailer. And and it's it's sunny. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful it's the middle of the winter. It's this is like day. February, the end of February. This is the middle of the winter. This we couldn't have blown a tire at a, a better time. Right, this couldn't <laughs> have been a better spot or a better time. And better people, luckily, they had the perfect socket for us to borrow. Look at this. I even got my warm, thick leather gloves. So tough. That Summit, that, that the guys from Summit, if you're watching, these are the gloves you guys gave me. So wearing these, Bill gave me a, look, for a dually to be able to check the tire pressure on both sides, which I did this morning, and then I blew the tire. Anyway. Oh, wait. I've got a better idea. You got a better idea? I do. What? <laughs> Pull the stepchild off and I'll show you. You're not going to use the... Don't use that. To <laughs> yeah. Don't use... Kevin, that's not what that's Hold for. On. Here, move the stepchild. That's not what... The, the, the ramp is not to lift the trailer. Oh, God. Don't break the trailer. You know you got to start worrying when Kevin gets a great idea. He's going to break our trailer, lifting up the rear tires with the ramp. Although... The ramp's supposed to lift about 4,000 pounds, but I don't think it's meant to lift 
That's not lifting if it's putting pressure down. Kevin's gonna break our trailer. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about your grand idea. Uh, we have a spare. Kevin's just, Kevin's trying to lift the trailer up with the ramp and our hydraulic ARB at the same time. So kids, I knew better. It was just, I was like, ah, they'll make it to Seattle. They'll Don't make worry. it to Seattle. Don't so anyway, Milestar is freaking awesome. You know we love their tires on our trucks. Now, if you don't know, they make them for regular trucks, everything. they make them for trailers, they make them for semi-trailers, for tractor trailers, they make tires for everything. So you know what Milestar did? We're uh, three, four hours outside of Portland. So what they did was they called in, they're gonna have tires shipped over to Portland for us. So we can get eight brand new tires on the trailer because Milestar is, Awesome. They want us to be safe. They don't want us to die. Thanks, Milestar. We <laughs> love you guys. Dually trailer for the win, right? Actually, now that makes we should have gotten a dually truck because if we oh blow, god, if we if would we blow, blow out on the truck. tire in the truck, at least we would have <laughs> a second tire to save your ass. And now, I think we're gonna have to trade this truck in for a dually. We just got Not it. Not right now, but we do need dual climate control, and this one doesn't have dual. Kevin climate control. goes. Hey, look, we need dually and dual climate control. You see him pointing his finger in my face. So Kevin. This morning, it's cold, right? And yeah. I get it, and I'm like, my feet are cold, so I turn a little warm, not like full blast hot, but I turn a little bit of the heat on, all right? And no freaking joke, he goes, we're gonna trade this truck in just to get dual climate control. Because Kevin totally sounds like that. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we love you. What are you doing? My midday workout since, you Oh, know. keeping Kevin accountable. Keep myself accountable. Guys, we love you, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Light Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com. All your Light Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. Also, don't forget about E3 Off-Road. Obviously, if you want to win the Gladiator, I'll leave the link in the description below. We love you guys. Oh, wait. Anyway. Wait, are we going to tell them about the tire giveaway on E3 Off-Road? No, 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 no. They're not supposed to know about the tire giveaway yet. Guys, we love you. We'll see you no. next time. Bye. We're giving away like three sets of mud terrain tires. Bye. Jelly Belly. Did you get the rabbit? Did she under the covers? She is. Oh. Jelly Belly. Did you get the bunny rabbits? Did you get the bunny rabbits? You're such a good girl. You sleepy pups. Did you have good dreams? Did you get the bunny? Good night.